Hey YouTube, this is Archangel and I'm here to show you the custom sump I built. Let's go take a look inside the cabinet. So, so the water enters the tank through the back of the stand. Um, it goes through a ball valve through three quarter inch uh, tubing into the first chamber. That first chamber is uh, primarily stopping most of the bubbles from getting into the sump. Oh, then it goes on to my second chamber where I have my heater and I temporarily place some carbon here. Um, probably going to change up what goes inside the second chamber. Not sure yet how I'm going to modify it because I'm always modifying my aquarium. But uh, keep moving forward onto my refugium section. Now I've increased the volume from the refugium that was originally on the biocube to now this nice big one with live rock and chato. What you'll notice is that uh, I actually moved my protein skimmer in here because um, with the addition of the overflow box and the increased water volume, water was passing through the, the chambers in the back too quickly and the skimmer became ineffective. So. I put it over here, I just cleaned it out so it's not producing anything yet, but uh, it will probably be by later tonight. People always ask me about uh, where their le water level should be on the skimmer. I will, I'm will. i going to tell you, it should probably be at um, where I have mines now. Um, so just adjust the knob until the water rises, the bubbles rise to about right there in the skimmer. And... Um, as the skimmer collects its organic waste, the bubbles will get bigger and rise to the top and then eventually fall into the collection cup. So that's my uh, refugium section, potato, live rock, and then moving on to the uh, bubble trap. Water flows from the refugium down into the bubble trap. There's about an inch gap at the bottom and it goes into the return section. Got this sticker off of eBay. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out. I'll leave. I'll post your name on the video here. The sticker actually is the perfect height for my minimum water level. You can see I drew a black line here, and uh, that's where I want to keep my minimum water level at. Also, I marked up here my max water level line in the event of a power failure the water actually doesn't go past this line so that's good um, what you can also see in the return section is my pH probe and then this other clear tubing piece of vinyl tubing here that piece of vinyl tubing is actually going to be for my chiller I'm getting a another Seltz L20 pump this is the L30 in the L20 to power my chiller which is it gets plumbed out the back just like the return and it comes over here to my chiller All right, and uh, you can see get my little light here I have my tubing ready to go and eventually it will be plumbed here in and out okay and then it will get pumped back straight to the tank um, I believe I'm going to get another PC4 for my Reef Keeper light. I'm going to mount it right here. So that way I could hook up my the my um chiller, my Seltz L20 and anything else that I have for my future plans will be hooked up to a PC4 right here on the top. Um next Let's go to how the water actually gets from the tank to the sump. So let's go back up to the top. You can see that the covers actually sit flush with the tank. That's something I wanted to um, get done right because I couldn't stand the, the actual cover being slightly up. So let's take a look. Let me take my fan off over here. Move it to the side and I'll take this cover off. Alright. 
I purchased a, I think it's called eShops, um, Nano Overflow Box. You can see here that there's the, the black part on the inside. The water goes in, goes over the YouTube, and into the, the back half where the water goes down into the sump. Um, I did purchase from Dr. Foster's a, uh, a new bulkhead fitting. You can see it down there. Um, basically, it's an elbow, so I can attach, so I can uh, attach the vinyl tubing, uh, so it can go straight down to the sump. Because I didn't want to be bothered with um, cutting PVC pipes. Um, next, we'll talk about look at the return. The return comes from the sump up here. It's attached to the original. Bio cube uh, elbow that connects to to the black barb over here, and it's secured with a, uh, a clamp, so this isn't this isn't going anywhere. Okay. Um, how I got the actual cover to sit flush is that I made a couple of cuts in the cover. See here at the corner, I cut the corner out so that the return could come in without being uh, interrupted and I cut the um, section over here I cut arch out so the YouTube will fit as well as bring the camera over here there's a little niche that goes across the bottom right here it's about uh, an eighth of an inch I think because of the fact that the overflow box has some thickness to it so I cut out the uh, cover to the thickness of the overflow box so that it will sit flush with the tank. So let me uh, show you how I put it on. Put the camera down and move the cords over to the side here. Slip it in. Beautiful. Okay, um, I'll move this over back over to here. Okay, now let me show you what's going on on this side. So, as you know, I took out the skimmer from here and I put in the sump. And what I did was I cut out a piece of egg crate right here. That's the length of the um, first chamber. It goes straight all the way to the bottom. The reason for this is that uh, I haven't figured out where I want to put my uh, mechanical filtration yet. So what I've done so far is that I actually rubber band piece of filter pad. It goes from here straight to the bottom. So it's filtering all the incoming water that's coming into the chamber and eventually getting to the um, overflow box. So that's, uh, what's, that's how I'm filtering, pre-filtering the water that comes in. You can see I still have some live rock down there added for some added filtration benefits of live rock. And um, that pretty much covers my custom built sump for the BioCube. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe, like my video, and um, this is Archangel signing out. If anyone's interested in building your own custom sump for your BioCube, go to my website. The web store has been updated and you can now download a PDF file of the sump so you can start building your own and have the added benefit of sump filtration today.